Okay, so this is the brand new 2022 Fairline Targa 50 GT, which means glass patio doors. That's what it means. And it's IPS powered and it is huge. Look how big it is. Look, I'm going to do some running. Look how big this boat is. While I just remember, um, I forgot, no, while I remember, if you like the videos, press the subscribe button because we need some more subscribers so it clicks their algorithm and makes it really good or something. Anyway, let's jump on board and do the full tour. Okay, um, just before we go up on board, I just thought I'd show you something. How cool is that little badge down there? How cool is that? That's pretty cool. That is nice. Right, let me go on board. Okay, so we're filming at the Birmingham Boat Show, and that's why we've got this drawbridge here, so I can't fall off it. Look, look, I can't fall off the boat anywhere. Look, look how high it is. I can't even, can't even get over it. But anyway, come here while we're on the bridge. I want to show you the high-low platform, and we've got a big boot here, but we haven't got a garage because the Targa 50 GT has glass doors and a big cockpit seating. The tender goes on the platform. If you want a garage and you want glass doors, then we make the Targa 45 GT. And I've done a video on that, which is up here. And that tells you all about that boat. So let's jump on board and I'll give you a quick tour of this model. Okay. So this is the cockpit and it's huge. Look at this space and look at the detailing. We've got big chunky tables, lovely um, um, aluminium legs with the stainless hinges on the flaps and stainless drinks holders here. We've got the fusion controller. We've got big stainless hand grabs here. And we've got a lovely little barbecue here. You get a lovely little key float. Look at that, Dan. And my socks today are burger and chips. Now, the eagle eyed of you might notice that I wear these on the F33 film that I have also done. Um, anyway, we have got a bin and a little cupboard there. So um, we just wait for these customers to walk through. Thank you. Do you like it? Very nice. Very nice. We've got uh, one left. I'll be back later. You'll be back later. You'll be Would back. You, do you want cash or? Uh, no, whatever, yeah. T card deposit's fine. I'll put it on You're, the card. What time are you back? About four. About four. All right, we'll see you at four. You save it for us. Yeah, I'll save, I'll save it for you. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so here's the saloon, and we've got these big glass doors here. And look at the quality of the detailing. I think the first thing you see, can you see this, Dan? Look at that beautiful wooden, it's called a fiddle rail, and it stops your coffee or your phone sliding off the top when you're boating. And look, leather inlays, stainless inlays here. And look at that glass cabinet. I mean, talk about beautiful. Look at this, look, we've got a fridge there. Luckily, it's not an ice maker. They've probably got the ice maker here. <laughs> oh, heaven. So we've got lovely cupboards there. All these glasses. All these glasses, Dan, can you see, look? Fairline yachts. That's what you get when you spend a million pounds. Let's talk about the price, actually. This boat is one million and 17,000 pounds, including VAT, with all the options. So I think that's not a bad price. That's including everything. So there's nothing, uh, well, you can have a seat keeper and stuff, but it's a pretty high specification. Look at that table, Dan. Isn't that beautiful? And then we've got some more cupboards under here. Music and stuff, and the helm. So let's look at the helm. Okay, so here is the helm. And as you expect from Fairline, it's beautifully laid out with all the gauges. Can you look at the gauges down? We've got manual gauges, we've got a rev counter for each engine, the rudder indicator. 
We've got the carling switches with the electric window. That, oh, it's electric roof, sorry, yeah. electric roof. It works, yeah, it's gonna work. All these other carling switches. We've got joystick, which is, um, this boat has got twin IPS six. There we go, look at that. Twin IPS 650s which are 480 horsepower. So we've nearly got a thousand horsepower. So we're gonna be doing about, what do you reckon? 34 knots, something like that, 35 knots. God, that is slow, isn't it? I hope you're patient. Yes. <laughs> <Thank> you. <laughs> okay, the roof's in the open. While we're waiting for that, Dan, we'll have a look. We look at the shout window. Now, really, I shouldn't shout today because we're at a show. Um, but this window here, the roof's still going. It's a big roof, though, down there. You see the whole Birmingham show now, look. Well, there we go, it's done. Well, we've got a shout window here, and it's manual, which I like. Now, do you think, I don't think I should, should I? Just a little one. I think it's Just a little one. Just a little one. Oi! That's good, I can get my head through it. Should we try the horn? It's always good to test the horn. Oh, West West set, sorry. Look, this is subscriber. Uh, no, but I have seen you on YouTube. I've been watching your videos. Good. That's what we like right, the horn isn't connected at the moment, so we're gonna go downstairs. Let's go and have a look. This is the lower accommodation and look at all this space. Tons and tons and tons of space and beautifully finished. So we've got the galley here with a little fiddle rail. We've got all these lovely cupboards with Lovely plates, look at these lovely plates, fine bone chain I made in England, hob, microwave and oven, but look at the cabinetry, beautifully finished, and I love, look at that, can you see that finish in the, in the grain there, and we've got all the controls here, and also look, look at all the, the wood grains all matched down, look, so this boat is two cabin and we've got a forward cabin and an aft cabin so let's go look at the aft cabin okay dan come into the aft cabin by the way this wood is called american walnut gloss but look at this cabin it is exquisite and i'm going to point out some details the first thing is it's got this lovely sock sofa so you can sit here look at that it's really comfortable. We've got a lovely bedside table. We've got power sockets under here for charging your phone either side of the bed. But what I really want to show you is look at the curves. We've got a curved bulkhead here, which shows you all the detailing. And we've got a little heads in there, which does pass the floss test. So if I do the yellow, yeah, it passes the floss test. So, Dan, you poke your head in there and have a look when I'm out of the way. Um, yeah, apologies, we're at the Birmingham show and obviously there is customers walking about, so we're just going to work in out the customers. And look at this detail, Dan, on the lining, headlining. Can I find anything wrong with this cabin? No, I can't. It is perfect. So let's go forward and look at the other cabin. James, it says do what you sit in the bed with him. We're gonna that's just that's that's they don't mean that. They don't. This is the forward cabin, and these are scissor berths. And I think the first thing you notice again, look how much size there is. The second thing you notice is how cool is that alarm clock? Isn't that like you just, your grand would have, isn't it? Isn't that nice? So if you buy one of these, I promise we'll include one of these. Now this boat is made in England, but this is made in China. Very nice. Very nice. Um, anyway, the quality all continues in here. And look at the wood grain. God, they're noisy, aren't they? You see about the sock settee. Oh, the sock settee, yeah. Um, beautiful detailing, lovely bedside lights, and you've got the Jack and Jill door here to the heads which also pass the floss test 
So you can put your head in there, Dan, and have a little look. You alright here? You have broken anything, no? I've seen oh, the socks no, 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 no. The sock sofa? Yeah, yeah the sock sofa, yeah. Okay. We'll be out of your way in a minute. No, no, you're okay. Right. Okay, so that is the Ford cabin. You've got TV as well. Beautiful. And it's got air conditioner. Really, really nice. Mm -hmm. So let's go back up deck. How you doing all right? Yes, thank you. Yeah, you yeah, like yeah. it? Oh, it's a queue. It's beautiful. Yeah. You can look at the engine, Dan. Oh, I've got to take the top off. <laughs> Sorry. God. It's very quick access to the engine room. Here we go. There we go. God. Tell you what. Right, so Dan, this has got the IPS 650s, and I think you're going to have to pass me the camera because you won't better get down here. Okay, so here is the engine room. There's the generator. They're the IPSs. They're the little prop shafts that go from the engine, prop shafts to the IPS. That's the exhaust. And here are the engines. Fuel filters, the starboard fuel tank. That's, has that got water? air conditioning oh water maker waste tank water tank there's the other engine big fire extinguisher oh there's the fuel tank sorry clearly marked port even though i can't get that wrong there's all the trip switches all the chargers and what have you oh that's the battery box sorry that's the battery box there's the starboard fuel tank anyway really really nice this boat will use, they, they average about 30% less, Dan, fuel than the equivalent shaft drive boat. So a shaft drive boat of this size would use about 120 litres per hour. This will probably be down to 70, 80, 90 litres per hour. So let's do a quick summary. Dan, look at this roof, it's black. And that's a, like a, Gel finish, Targa 50. I'm going to hold this rail, I don't want to fall. There's a shout window, look, should we do the shout window the other round? It's nice, isn't it? Massive sunroof, look at the sunroof, Dan. Right, so let's go to the bow. Oh. If you go around there, then we can see the rest of the boat. So let's do a quick summary of this boat. Two cabins, IPS, 50 foot, GT, glass doors, high low platform. I'm sweating. I don't know why I'm sweating, it's February. <laughs> it's hot in here. Um, IPS drive, um, twin IPS 650s with 480 horsepower each. We're gonna be doing about 34, 35 knots top speed. And you just heard the fuel consumption beautifully made beautifully finished by fairline yachts um i can't I, again there's, there's not an awful lot wrong with this boat um if you want the garage you can buy the 45 gt this one's got a bigger platform which i like um it's i think it's a lot of boat for a, for a million pounds i mean you know if I said that five years ago, I'd, it'd be crazy. But in today's market, a million pounds, I think it's uh, a good boat for that. So uh, it gets the big thumbs up from me. And if you're enjoying these videos, please, please, please press thumbs up and subscribe. And see you on the next video. You ready? So it is massive. What are you laughing at? <laughs> Just you running. i tell you what, in the day, I was pretty good at running I tell you son oh while we just oh, I just remember um, that is a noisy trolley